Hello there, this is Asian95 and welcome to another episode of Black Ops Cold War Multiplayer Open Guide. In this 23rd installment, we'll be taking a look at the QBC-83. The second Chinese weapon in the game alongside the Type 63. Based on the earliest prototype of the QBC-95, or Jiaoshuwu, Chu Zudong Buajiang in the late 80s. The QBC-83 is a moderate damage assault rifle with 5 bullets required to kill to the body and has an effective range of 45.72 meters. After this, you need 6 bullets. For the headshot, you need 4 bullets regardless of any distance. The fire rate is okay at 681 rounds per minute with a bullet speed of 625 meters per second. These statistics rank the QBC as a fairly average assault rifle. The recoil of the QBC is moderate, kicking upwards and then slightly to the left. It is controllable within its effective range, but you may struggle to stay on target at longer distance under an automatic fire. Aim time and mobility are where the QBC shine, with 283 milliseconds to fully aiming down sights, and 97.5 movement speed versus 95% of the assault rifle's default. But you trade these with slightly worse hipfire accuracy. The magazine size is standard at 30 rounds, extended options are available in 40 or 50. Reload animation is on a faster end, as it would take little over 2 seconds to complete. The QBC is the oddball assault rifle, you have faster handling and mobility, with moderate performance. The faster aim speed is nice when you need to react quickly, and greater movement speed means you can get to positions quicker than any other assault rifles. So, it is certainly possible to enhance these advantages to make the QBC more nimbler to use, albeit with a passive-aggressive playstyle, as the rifle lacks a close-range punch of the SMG or FFAR. The Serpent Grip handle will subtract your aim time by 25%, or to 212.25 milliseconds, with only sprint to fire time being increased by 10%. This will help acquire targets and fire your first precise shot with your sights up faster than SMG and pistol's default aim time. You could select the airborne elastic wrap for enhanced dead benefits, but this grip will also hurt your shooting move speed, something you want to preserve with the QBC due to faster mobility. Speaking of mobility, the infiltrator grip will enhance your movement speed, shooting move speed, and aim walking movement speed by 5%, allowing you to be more mobile and active in a battlefield. You could also elect the Bruiser Grip for an added sprinting move speed along with stated benefits of the Infiltrator Grip, but you will gain only 3% for each. Still worth considering if you play on larger maps where they will demand more positioning to be effective. Other than that, you can enhance its recoil control via the Infantry Compensator and faster reload speed to complement the faster handling and mobility together with the SAS Mac Clamp. The iron sights are okay, but an addition of the reflex sight can help acquire targets easier and help getting used to its recoil pattern, but it's not required. With the passive-aggressive approach, your perks should consist of survivability and maneuverability. The perk Greed wildcard will permit 6 perks maximum, with 2 from each tier. I recommend Flag Jacket, Tight Mask, Scavenger, Tracker, Ninja, and Gang Ho to help you stay alive against initial explosive damage and resist against tactical grenades. More ammo supply, see an enemy's digital footprint to follow in conjunction with already high mobility of the QBC, silent your footsteps, and fire the weapon and use equipment while sprinting, along with switch weapons faster and fire more accurately while sliding. Overall, the QBC-83 is the assault rifle with an average performance, and mostly effective within medium range. While it may not have the most damage dealt, nor lowest recoil, the QBC is more about speed, with faster aim time and mobility to help decide the outcome of the gunfight and get you to objectives first compared to other ARs. It is often overlooked, but overclock once it's in your hands. And that concludes the guide of the QBC-83. This is Asian95, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.